Okay, everyone. Um, uh, let's talk about um, uh, complex research design. <laughs> All right. Now, so far we only discussed some um, one uh, IV, one independent variable. But uh, in experiments, we can do more than one. So, for example, uh, I think this is from Japan. Um, uh, they did some um, uh, rice experiment. The idea is um, if you talk to a, a bowl of rice, you know, some good thing, you know, praise. I mean, I think Japan sometimes uh, they have some you know, very crazy ideas. But uh, when you talk to a bowl of rice or some, you know, uh, uh, say, oh, say some nice things. Oh, you are good rice. Um, uh, you look looks beautiful. And then, you know, um, when rice start to you know, um, have mold, um, uh, there are some colors, right? And uh, according to the experiment, Praises will make those colors become beautiful. And uh, if you give them some hate thought, like um, uh, you are ugly rice, um, uh, you are bad, then that uh, the mold and the colors of the mold will be really ugly. Now, so in this case, the independent variable, the IB, will be the thought or talk, right, of um, two levels, happy versus hate, um, the rice's outlook. Okay. But um, <clears> how <throat> about this? Um, uh, let's add another factor, right? For example, music. Maybe Mozart's piano concerto will make rice beautiful too. Um, so how do we test the influence of thought and music on rice outlook? Right. Now, of course, we can do experiments on thoughts on some rice. That's one level, and then music on other rice. That's another uh, independent variable. But it costs too much time and money. And plus, which IV uh, might be more important, right? And what is the effect if combining two IVs together? If we do this, you know, separately, we will not get the answer. So we can have two IVs at the same time. Okay. So the designs with more than one IV are called factorial design because our IV can also be called factor. Okay, <clears throat> so those are factors. So if we have two IVs, you have two factor experiment. Okay. Now let's first uh, talk about main effect. Main effect. Okay. One IV's influence is called one main effect. There are as many uh, main effects as there are IVs. Um, uh, to test the main effect, main effect, we use ANOVA. So, for example, let's come back to this rice experiment. How many uh, main effects we, uh, we just discussed? First, it's the main effect of thoughts. Um, there are two levels, happy versus hate. Also, the main effect of music, Mozart versus uh, whatever, how about heavy metal, right? So, there are in total two main effects in this case. Um, but things can go complicated um, uh, when we do uh, these two IVs because um, we also need to talk about interaction. Now, the definition of interaction is that when the effects of one IV depend on another IV, then we have an interaction. So, for example, if a Mozart only helps on hate thought condition, then it looks like this. Now, this chart is important, so let me explain it. First, on this side, this x axis, uh, this is uh, rice outlook. In other words, the here will always, always be the dependent variable. Okay, and suppose um, we just um, uh, rate uh, rice outlook from zero to seven, a scale of zero to seven. Seven means beautiful, zero means um, ugly. Now, here will be uh, one IV. And in this case, I would put my um, uh, thoughts on this uh, uh, right here. And here will be another IV. This is the music, right? This is thought, this is music. But um, some people might ask, I'm, uh, can I put the thoughts right here and music right here? No problem, okay? Um, it doesn't matter. Okay. So now, uh, Mozart's music is blue line. Heavy metal is... I don't know what color it is. Uh, this is, this is a brown. All right. 
and uh, here happy thought is right here hate thought hate thought is right here so as you can see let's talk about the main effect for mozart there is no difference um look at here um this is six uh the outlook is a six um if it is um, a mozart combined with happy thought it's six now how about mozart combined with hate is still six now if we use a heavy metal then here a combined with happy thought that is six but if heavy metal combined with hate thought then the outlook drop to only two so that's why we say hey mozart seems to help on this hate thought condition yeah because if it is heavy metal the outlooks are ugly but uh, if you play mozart music then uh, it seems the hate thought that has no effect all right all right now what would um, a no interaction look like it will be two parallel lines like this that means um, uh, the effects of one IV doesn't uh, depend on the other. So if it is a Mozart, it's um, uh, happy thoughts that is six. Um, uh, hate thoughts will drop to three. Now for heavy metal, that will be uh, happy thought is three and uh, hate thought will be zero. That's really, really ugly. Yeah. So any anywhere is a parallel line, then it will be uh, no interaction. Only uh, in this case, uh, there might be uh, main effect. It seems that Mozart music's effect um, is uh, much better than uh, heavy metal. Now, I give you another example of interaction. So, based on this description, look at this. The effects of alcohol on drowsiness are increased by a sleeping pill. Or, uh, of course, um, you can describe you know, uh, the, the reverse way uh, the effects of a sleeping pill is increased by alcohol and it looks like this so this is alcohol um this um combined with a no sleeping pill the drowsiness effect see this is the dependent variable drowsiness so on a scale of 1 to 10 drowsiness is only 3.5 if it is alcohol but no sleeping pill now if let's introduce here no sleeping pill and no alcohol of course you are not drowsy at all right now if it's a sleeping pill um but no alcohol then uh, drowsiness is about three however if we combine sleeping pill with alcohol then the effect drop uh, a jump to nine right so the difference here is only about three but the right here is about one two three four five six so you can see the huge increase compared to this one so these two lines are not parallel right if they are not parallel then we say most likely okay not definitely but most likely remember not definitely most likely there's an interaction but how do we be sure is um, there's an interaction um, we need to further analyze the data but um, uh, for this semester, for this class, you don't have to worry about that. All right. All right. So now let's um, uh, put the interactions in the design matrix. So for example, we get the data. Um, this is um, again the rice outlook, right? Mozart versus heavy metal. This is one dependent variable. Happy versus hate, it is another uh, depend, uh, dependent uh, independent variable. So combine these two together, seven, hate versus Mozart is five, happy versus, uh, and uh, heavy metal combined together is six, and hate combined with the heavy metal is one. Now, how do we draw this, uh, uh, the, the chart, the figure? Um, let me show you how to do that, okay. So this is the data, okay, I transferred it. Now, um, this, um, I'll just say uh, Mozart is right here. How about that now? I need to find uh, here. All right, so this is Mozart, and uh, this is a heavy metal. So let's write it down. Mozart, heavy metal. 
So this is one level of independent variable. Now, how about happy versus hate? So happy, how about the solid line? Happy, H-A-P-P-Y. And then hate will be dot, dot line, right? Hate. Okay. So now, let's draw. So this uh, dependent variable is an outlook, but I'm too lazy to write it just now in this outlook. Mozart combined with happy is seven. So where is seven? Seven is right here. So this says seven is about right here. Okay, so this is Mozart and happy. Uh, how about Mozart versus hate? Mozart and, uh, what, you know what, because this is only line, how about this? Happy uh, versus and uh, heavy metal, right? So happy and heavy metal is six. This is seven now, six. We drop a little bit. But this is all happy. So this is draw a line right here. All right. Now, how about Mozart? Uh, but it's hate. That is five. Okay. So Mozart and hate. Mozart and hate. Uh, five is about right here. And Mozart. No, 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 not Mozart. No, it's a heavy metal. And hate. That's only one. Right. And now this is that line. Oh, I don't know. Like Okay. All right. From here, can you can you say okay? No, let me say so this is not about right. And this is heavy. Oh no no no! This is heavy. H E A V E. Oh my goodness. Right. Okay. So you can see this. They are not parallel. Definitely not parallel. So are there interaction? Maybe we should do further analysis. But most likely there's an interaction. Right? So this is how you do it. Okay, how you uh, draw this. Um how about this? Uh, alcohol uh, uh, versus no alcohol, no sleeping pill and sleeping pill. So just follow the, the same guideline and then do that. You can do some practice yourself. Uh how about this? Handsome man versus rich man. Old man versus young man. This is the age. So uh, the, this IV is the age. Old versus young. I guess uh, uh, in terms of DV is um, uh, attractiveness. Young man probably is um, uh, quite attractive. Uh, but how about handsome versus rich? You know, the quality. Um, which one is more important? Now, I guess um, uh, every... Uh, we probably should ask um, uh, most of the uh, female students, or most of the women, about this question. Uh, and uh, you're welcome to do uh, your own, you know, uh, <laughs> analysis, um, do your own chart. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Okay, finally, let's um, uh, talk about the describing of the design. So, when we do this, uh, 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 you know, rice outlook, and uh, we have uh, these two levels, about uh, two uh, IVs, then how do we specifically describe it? Um, the shorthand notation is this. Two, this is one level of, uh, uh, this is one uh, independent, independent variable. And two means that there are two levels. So type of thought, um, uh, comma. Happy versus hate. By, it's by, two. Again, this uh, independent variable has two levels. So type of music, Mozart versus heavy metal. And then we need to say between participants. Because, uh, because this is the between design. We can do within design, but um, uh, let's just stick to between design so far, uh, for, for now. So we can say between participants factorial design. Okay. Now, for example, if we have three levels in this in independent variable, maybe we say happy versus hate versus blank, you know, no, 
no thoughts. You know, I just name this is three, then you need to change it to three. Type of thoughts, happy versus hate versus blink. Right. And then type of music, suppose we have, you know, four, okay? Then you need to change it to four. And then say type of music, come on. Uh, Mozart versus heavy metal versus uh, classical. Oh no, well, Mozart is classical, so in the say uh, uh, soft rock, <laughs> rocky, rock and roll, whatever. Okay, and still between participants, vectorial design. All right, how about a sleeping pill and alcohol and drugs? In this? So uh, the first uh, IV will be sleeping pill, the second one will be alcohol. And each has two levels. One is present, one is absent, right? On drowsiness. So this is how you do it. Two, only two levels, sleeping pill, present versus absent. By two, alcohol, present versus absent. Between participants, factorial design. So how about men's age and qualities on attractive level? Okay, practice yourself, you know, pause the video and then come back. Alright, so this is how you do it. Two age versus uh, you know age old versus young by two qualities handsome versus rich between participants factorial design. All right. <clears throat>